actually, oh my god, actually ever play Sucker Beach episode 9? It better be right. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just load. Sheesh. Yeah, that's coming up so nice, huh? That was episode 8. Sheesh. It's been a lot, I mean, quite some weeks, you know? Yeah. Well, I guess I have no, well, I guess I have had some problems at home, though. Nothing too major, of course. It bothers me a little bit. That's all. I can't tell her about I can't tell her about the letter. I don't want to talk about it with anyone else. Anyone just yet. What I need is time to work it all out. I already knew that. You can't hide when you're in tr when you're trouble, silly CG. It's written all over that adult face of yours. Yet you still don't wanna whisper the word about it, do you? Whisper a word about what? Really, everything's fine, Momoko. I have to start talking about this. It's only going to get worse if this keeps going. I turn towards the beach and start walking off. Anyway, how about we... Eh? She's... She's holding me by the wrist. It's not her usual part of either. It's very delicate, very gentle. Momoko? Don't think we're going to let you get away with Get away this time, silly. You're going to tell me everything right now. Shit. Her smile is far more gentle than I've ever seen it before. It's okay. You know, you can tell any anything. I, um, if I find that, I lose my voice for a moment. Looking at her now, she just looks so cute. Even though she's usually acts so mature. Hmm, there's something undeniably womanly about her aura right now. Aura, aura. <laughs> I wonder what she's, she'll look like when she's going. When she's a grown woman. Getting to blush. Me too. I'm thinking about it in my head right now. I've got to get these your thoughts out of my head. <laughs> she said we're special friends. But not anytime. But not anything more than that. I look away from her. Shaking my head until I feel the heat rushing to my head disappear. That's better. If I'm going to talk to her about this, I need a clear head. Okay, we can. What the hell? Why? Come on. Why does it keep happening when I look away? A pair of hands has slipped on her, her momoko's suicide. <laughs> her face becomes bright red with embarrassment. No! Who is doing this? Get your hands off of me, you pervert! As I look around her to see who's attacking her, Mayumi grins cheerily at me. Oh dear, it looks like my hands have accidentally slipped under her top. This is extremely clumsy of me. Please let me apologize, CG. She begins to caress, caress on the skin underneath it. Actually, caress would imply it would have it was a soft touch. Well, she's actually doing it, kneading it, rolling it around in her in her hands without a care in the world. It's not often that I see Volko's demeanor break. No, not here. Stop it. You have to quit. <laughs> She struggles, but it only takes a human to hold on tighter. Don't look, CG. My purity has been defiled. You know, Monaco, I think you've got around quite a bit. They're much larger than the last time I felt them. The last time she felt them? What had these two been doing when I wasn't looking? I is. Yes, CG. Is something wrong? Is there something going on between you two that I should know? Not at all. She grins at me and continues to squeeze even harder. What? <laughs> Each time makes Moko yelp. I feel something shrinking out of my nose. Oh my, CG. Is that a nosebleed? You really do get embarrassed sometimes, don't you? This isn't like a Yumi at all. She's normally a lot more reserved than, than this. Made her act this way. CG, you're looking at me with a, with a, perverted, with a pervert's eyes. I don't know if I'll be able to be. I don't know if I'll be able, be able to face you again. Stop looking, CG. She continues to squeal as she me continues her relentless assault. Are you me? <laughs> Mickey, stop. Help me, CG. Help me defeat this terrible witch. And Yumi's grin disappears then, and her hands clamp down. 
What are you calling the terrible witch from the No, stop it! CG, your princess needs help! Save me! Don't bring him into this. It's no good. I'm going to faint if I keep watching. That's enough, okay? My god, man, what have I seen? <laughs> It's the afternoon by the time we head back to the hotel. Oh, this was our last day here, wasn't it? Wait, you're right. Has it really been a week already? I hardly know the time passes. It really has. This trip has been so much fun. We spent so much time together. I guess it's been fun enough. Even with this fool around, we've managed to have some fun. Time really flies when you're having fun. Yeah. I'm glad you both came with me. I haven't been there here in years, let alone friends. I'm kind of disappointed that they only thought of me as a friend, though. I've, only, I've also managed to avoid telling them about the letters and my mother, not to mention my reasons for being so quiet lately. Overall, I think this trip is going to end very well. Is there anything you two want, want to do before we head home? Anything you like? I want to talk about what's been bothering you. Are you are we really going to bring this up again? Now about that, CG. You're still avoiding the question. We've got through this whole week, but you still haven't given us an answer. Why don't you open up? That's all we want to do. Alright, fine. Something has been bothering me. I admit it. But why do we have to talk about I think I already have an idea of what could be bothering you so much. I remember a few months ago when you came to school. That's when I saw that look on your face. That lifeless, empty look. I saw it too. We both ate breakfast with you on that day, and you were fine then. But were you late and you came back with that look on your face? What happened, CG? Where has been? Where have you been this entire time? I have enough of this. Look, we're, we were supposed to have fun on this trip, right? Right. So we shouldn't worry about other things until we get back. But when will you make the time for us? Momoko's actually angry. Oh God! Net turns. What have I done? She's not playing around like she usually does. Stop hiding in your room and burying your nose in those books. When, CG, when will you come back to us? I'll make time for both of you after exams are over, okay? Didn't you listen to me when we spoke about this? You aren't going to make time for us, are you? It's just going to be next exam, and the next exam, and after that, and the one after that. This isn't you, CG. Just tell us what's wrong, please. Why don't you believe? Why don't you believe me? I said we would, so why shouldn't we? CG. Silly CG. Both of them look really depressed. Oh. I wish that I understood you. But you won't let me understand you. That broken boy I knew so many years ago. When did he wander back into our lives? I've had enough of this. We can talk about this when we get home tomorrow. I don't want to talk about it again while we're here, okay? Both of them don't say anything, anything more. They quietly leave the room and close their bedroom door. I hear the distant click of it, of it locking. Did I really do the right thing there? Is it their business what happens in my life? I'll deal with my problems on my own terms. For now, the best thing I can do is just keep some distance away from them and hope things settle down. This doesn't feel like all of those other times we've had arguments though. It feels... Not right. Not right at all. Have I gone too far for this time? Oh man. So much has happened this week. It's hard to believe that we're going home tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Really. Not to mention nursing quite a few 
Those of the moon come you me, yikes. I'm amazed that I'm still alive, all things considered. They haven't left their room yet, unfortunately. Normally they've been, they've been keen for dinner. Yet no matter how much I knock, there's no response. Oh my god. The more they, they hide in there, the worse my anxiety gets. Have I finally upset them enough to completely drive them away from me? Is this going to be the end of our long friendship? Perhaps this is a fitting end. It's not as if I really fit in with two of the most popular girls at school. My only distinguishing characteristics is that I'm really exceedingly average. Yet those two, they're on another level completely uncompared to me. Moko can ace any sport she tries to. And you make it practice to memorize a textbook with only a single read through, yet I struggle for any kind of achievement at all. <sighs> Despite all of that, they never look down to me. All the guys they regularly reject are amazing at what they do. So why me? That's what I can't work out after all these years. Despite all of, all of the people they met, all of the people they talk to, all of the proposals they get. I'm the still I'm still the only the one guy after all this time that they're friends with. Why, 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 why? There's nothing about me that's even remote, remotely special. Just need to calm down. Perhaps everything's fine. Perhaps I'm just overthinking all of this. Maybe they calm down by now. I've knocked on their bedroom door once or twice. I might as well give it another try. Come on, you two. You've been in there for hours. I know that you've probably eaten all the snacks by now. That's silence in response. I tried the door handle. Only to find out that it's still locked. Fine then. A cookie dinner now. Still be waiting for you when you get out. I'm too tired to really cook anything decent. I'm just throwing whatever into a frying pan to help me, and then it will turn out all right. Moko says that this is her favorite cooking technique, which really illustrates how bad she is at it. I heard her bedroom door creaking. Hey, you find hey, you're finally out. Where's you me? We've been talking. I'm going for a walk, CG. A walk by myself. By herself. Wait, you're going without you? It's complicated, CG. We we just feel that I'm the right one to do this. Right one to do what? Uncle? What's going on? Just how well do you understand us, CG? Understand me. She closes the bedroom door behind her. I can hear the locks click shortly after. CG, you're hurting right now. But you won't let me see what it is. You're keeping it all boxed up inside. CG. Adorable, silly CG. Huh. She seems barely able to talk at the moment. I'll be going out now, CG. I know you'll find me where I'm going. Where are you going? I don't understand. Just play Momoko. I'm sorry. You have to work it out. I'm going somewhere very special. When you get there, you know that what's in my heart, CG. Oh, but I with one finger she hushes me. We can talk when you when you find me. I know that you'll find me, CG. Quietly, Momoko slips out of the hotel room. I look back to their bedroom door. And you mean, what, what was that? What's going on? Not a sound comes from their bedroom. And you mean, answer me. I know you're in there. Still nothing. I I need a moment to work all this out. Why would you be talking to me? Is it because I spent more time with Momoko than her? And Momoko, is this kind of some attempt to get me to talk? That has to be it. They've grown tired of me refusing to open up to them. Uncle is the right one to do this, huh? That cheerful girl from my childhood who refuses not to not smile. Someone very special to me. She looks so lonely as she walk out that door. What does she want me? What does she want from me? 
I guess if I want answers, then I have to go after her. But where could she be? Somewhere very special. There's only so many places she knows about. After all, this is the first time she's been here. Wait, special to her? Or special to me? I think I know where she is. Please wait for me. Monko. I'm sorry that I pushed you away. But all this is over, I promise I'll buy you as much as ice cream as you like. Please don't hate me. Love, I hope nothing bad happens, you know. Ah, the Misty Forest. The galaxy. I'm here. This is one of the most special places to me in the entire world. The place where I look towards the heavens. That's where I look for an answer. Somewhere above me. Never before have I, ever, have I seen it look this beautiful. Though, the stars are even clearer than they've ever been before. Twinkling with cold light. As if... It is as if lots of dark diamonds has been split across the night sky. Fireflies dance hey lazily in the warm summer air. And blonde hair figures sits beneath the stars. Here you are, CJ. I've been waiting for you. Somehow, I knew you'd find me. She seemed happy, but also very lonely. Will you tell me the truth now, CJ? Please, will you stop running away from me? been avoiding me for weeks now. You don't look me in the eyes whenever we talk. CG, did I do something wrong? Is that why you don't want to talk about it? Did I do something to hurt you? Is that why you don't want to open up to me? She looks like she's about to burst into tears. CG, if you hate me, I don't think I could stand it. Please, CG, please tell me you're feeling. I don't hate you. I can never possibly hate you. I can't avoid it any longer. I have to tell her what's happening. I, there was an unmarked letter in my mail. Unmarked? Oh, she sent it? Did she? Yes, she did. Is that, is that why you pushed me away? Have you still not come to terms with being abandoned? She said she wanted to see how I was doing. The truth is that... I wanted to make myself feel, make myself seem like I was better than I really am. Deep down, I know that it's really spite. Whenever I hear anything from her or about her, I guess I go back to how I was. All of those long forgotten feelings, they're all still buried in me somewhere. I can't be a good person. She's my mother and she still loves me. I can't forget that she left without me behind. Whenever when it comes to the surface, all I want to do is be in love. So I studied and did some studying. And at some time, I had some validation, some proof to myself that I really am worth something. So I could prove to her that I was worth having in her, in her life. I was still that lost child I was all those years ago. I'm desperate for someone to recognize my existence. And it makes me ashamed of myself. I could rarely bring myself to face either of you because I felt like I didn't deserve to be your, your friend. Even now, I don't think that I do. Both of you are, are so amazing. Everything you do is amazing. For as long as I've known you both, I've always felt like this. But I wonder where I came into all of this. You two are popular, cute, smart, and, and athletic. Yet, I. Yeah, um, I look down my hands. Well, just look at me. I know what it is to be like abandoned. Yet in the end, it seems like I was doing the same thing to both of you. And now for everything I just talked about, that I, that is what I'm ashamed of. Yeah, I didn't even know that I was doing it. The truth is, I feel as if I'm worthless. Moko looks at me with dewy eyes. How? How could you believe in that situation? It was never me. Uh, you're right. It was me. I'm ashamed of myself. Especially when I talk to you. How could you be worthless when you're so precious to me? This hurts me a lot more than you hate me. You hate yourself. That's even worse than I could imagine. Precious? To you? What do you mean? I want you to know something, CG. 
to know something? Uncle step then steps forward. Oh, we're getting close. Oh man. I want you to know my feelings, CG. How can you not see the good in you, CG? How could you not think that we don't care about you? She raises one hand and it places it on my cheek again. Just like she did in the on the beach. I once met a boy who was badly hurt. Everything about him seems to be out of the order. He was a pain and it was far deeper than I ever could know. But beneath all of that, I saw something good. He was kind, he was gentle. He was someone who was willing to make sacrifices for other people. That was CG. Adorable, silly CG. That's who you will always be to me. Whenever I ask you to kiss me, or when I flirt with you, her face is grown red. Her face is grown red, yeah. Those were my true feelings. She looks down to the ground, then her eyes melancholy. I never hid how I truly felt about you. It's just that you were always lost. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get you to see me that way. I tried and I tried, but no matter what, it always felt like there was a wall between you and me. When you asked how I felt about you, I wanted you to work it out yourself. Even though you didn't really know a little the way, you kept walking forward. We helped you, we gave you a hand when you need one. But it was you who drove yourself to get where you are now. You aren't worthless, CG. I love you with all my heart. That's how I really feel. Please, will you accept my feelings? No matter how selfish they are, please tear down those walls you put around your heart, CG. CG, my normal, silly CG. What? What are you going to do now? Her gaze in expectant. I know that I have to give her an answer here and now. But what about Ayumi? Does she know about this? She knows. We both agreed that it was me who had to do this. Then I think I give you an answer. I feel the same way that, that you do, Momoko. Her face is lighting up with joy. Do you? Do you really mean it, CG? Yes, I do. When I ask you how you felt about me, what I really wanted to know is if you, even a little bit, I thought so. You always confuse me, you know. Uh, I, I wonder why you never had a boyfriend. Despite all the guys who can fish you, you get it now. I didn't want someone who was great at sports, or genius, or popular. I didn't want someone who was great at sports, or genius, or popular. Really? <laughs> all I wanted was you, CG. The boy who had, had I loved for a whole life. Now, I'm here. Lying in your arms. Someone has finally granted my wish. Slowly we both end up lying in the cool grass. The fireflies dance against the night from the sky, their lights looking like tiny moving stars. We, c we c don't have to leave anytime soon, do we? Can we just lie here a little longer? Sure, for as long as you like. Moko slowly closes her eyes as she lays her head on my chest. Tell me a story, CG. One about the constellations, just like your grandfather does. For what felt like the longest of night of my life, I laid there with the girl I love, recalling the tales that my grandfather used to tell beneath a starry sky. I really have been full, haven't I? Oh man, this is some good shit right here. Oh man, the long week is over. Finally over. I wonder how long it will be. 
day before I see that ocean again. Momoko, I accepted her feelings, but Ayumi, I don't know how she would handle this. I'm really scared to tell her what happened underneath that sky, night sky. After all this, I've come to, my, to terms with my own insecurities, even if it's just a little bit. I don't have to be anything special, I just have to be myself. That's why she loves me for who I am. I'm going to have to meet my mother eventually. That's not something I can avoid. But I don't have to prove anything to her. I think it, could, it would be enough for her to know that her son is happy and doing well. Somehow, I think it would be a great idea if I didn't tell her about my unusual arrangements with those two. Both of them went out by themselves to look at the ocean one last time. In a merry span of a week, all three of us have made memories together that will last us a lifetime. I never want to forget that confession. Nor will I ever forget these feelings I hold in my heart. I can say for sure that it's love, but whatever that is, <laughs> I don't want to fight it. Most importantly, I've learned that running away while trying to escape isn't the answer. There, I'm done packing. Uh, they should be home soon. Well, at least I hope they will be. They will be. I think with all the unmentionables they've left scattered around their room, it would be proper for a guy to do anything in here. They really do want me to make it hard for me, don't they? Speak of the devil, I hear the front door opening. Moku bounce up to me. Good morning, darling. I hope you slept well. I don't think anyone ever called me darling before. CG. Are you me? For an awkward moment, I find myself at a loss of words. I know what happened. It's okay. But does not that does not mean I'm going to give up. Give up. Hey Yui, you too? Yes. I look over to Momoko, whose demeanor hasn't changed at all. So we both love CG. We both deserve a chance. Even though I'm your girlfriend. Yumi's free to try her best to win your love too. Oh man. That is what we agreed on a long time ago. Really? If one of us su succeeded, the other may try her best too. But but I Yumi shows me with one finger. I know. You love her. I don't want to make it. I don't want to take it. And it's settled. The war for Siege's love is far from over. Just remember that you're getting by all my good graces, Yuri. Don't think that you can act like act like that. Just get me go. <laughs> oh man. This is far from over. Of course it isn't. But there's nothing wrong with having I will show you, Momoko. You fall in love with me before you know it. I already told her that polygamy is illegal. But it looks like this has already been agreed upon. Even though Momoko is my girlfriend, it looks like he was going to try her best to win my affection. This is my life now. These two wonderful girls I met during my childhood. In all of its loud glory. Well, all of its loud glory. <laughs> Yes, we got to the end, guys. Actually, this is actually the end of the video. Yeah, thank you for reading. Wow, we actually did it. We actually did it. <laughs> well, this is truly is the end of Sakura Beach, but Sakura Beach 2 is still on the way. And I have the game already, so I could just make that video. Probably like Wednesday, I guess, you know. Ah, wonderful times with each other. Polygamy and stuff. Ah, man, man, man. That's, that's some good times, you know, guys. Ah, yes. And yet, this is the end of Sakura Beach. And then, let's move on to Sakura Beach 2. Oh, boy. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this series of Sakura Beach, and yeah, 
So just stay tuned for like Cyber Beach 2 weeks ago on either Wednesday or Thursday this week. Depending on what I'm doing. And pretty much yeah. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.